My name is Pam Zaski. I've worked with the City of Arvada since May of 1991, a little over 28 years. Since 1999, I've been a software developer working on the City's financial software Oracle eBusiness Suite. You're always facing new updates. Technology changes uh, faster than you can keep up. So right now we're going through a very large project to get us to that next level. I do like challenges. So in September of this year, I participated in climbing Cotopaxi, which Cotopaxi is a glaciated volcano in Ecuador. The event was for uh, a local nonprofit called Range of Motion Project. Uh, ROMP, R-O-M-P, and basically half of the participants in the event were amputees and the other half non-amputees. I myself am not an amputee, but my spouse is. There was basically two goals to the event. One is they were raising funds for their mission, providing prosthetic devices to people in developing countries. The other goal to the event was also basically making a statement that amputees are not disabled by missing a limb, they're disabled by missing a prosthesis. I feel blessed that, uh, you know, we have good health care and, you know, we have not had a problem getting prosthetic devices. This trip was important to me. We were selected back in April of 2019, so we had you know, half a year to train for this. We climbed a lot of Colorado 14ers. Prior to this year, I had only climbed one 14er. This year, I think I climbed eight or nine of them. With the Cotopaxi, the volcano, it goes up to 19,400 feet. That's a mile higher than 14 and a half, and you just don't know how you're gonna do altitude-wise. It doesn't matter how fit you are, really. Altitude sickness, it's something real, and it affects everybody differently. I feel especially lucky that I was able to make it to the summit. The actual trip was about nine days, and you go through an acclimating process to get yourself ready. Then you climbed up to about 15,400. So you're kind of increasing your elevation gain and getting used to it. Yeah, bam! Bam, bam, bam! bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Woo! Woo! yeah, Pam, over here, I got you. Woo! How was that? That's awesome! And you spend the night at 16,000 feet, kind of continue that acclimating process. My spouse and I actually left at 10 p.m. Thursday night, but you climb all night long with the hope of summiting kind of at sunrise. I was probably summited around nine o'clock, so I missed sunrise, but, but I made it to the top. It was easier than I expected because I guess I really expected to be kind of a little bit more lung crushing or, you know, really feel uh, a labored breath. And certainly had I pushed the pace or gone a little faster, I would have felt that and felt that very quickly. I could, you could tell that because uh, anytime, yeah, you picked up your pace very quickly, you would feel it. But we went a slow enough pace. The actual climb itself is actually only about two and a quarter miles. It's not that long, but it's so much elevation gain and at such a high altitude that you're, you're going a very slow pace. In the climb, there's safety involved. You need to be present, aware of what's happening and not trying to rush too quickly through some, a dangerous situation. One of the goals of this climb was actually a fundraising mission for Range of Motion Project. And between my spouse and I, we raised over $23,000 for the organization. And actually, a, a portion of that was from City of Arvada employees. Really proud of that. Really proud of my spouse for kind of pushing through and accomplishing what she was able to do. Uh, her amputation was actually only two years ago. So for her to being performing at this level, I think it's very impressive. 